What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people been asking me, what the fuck do I mean by Quando Rondo hiding from Lil Durk in the BDs? Simple. He hiding from Lil Durk in the BDs, bro. That don't mean that he's scary. That don't mean that he a hoe, bro. That don't mean that he won't fight. That don't mean that he ain't about that shit. But the guy's in hiding because he clearly realized that he has a whole city looking for him. He has a whole community looking for him. He has famous rappers looking for him. Then he has his own ops looking for him. Then he had the fans because the fans get more grammy than some of your ops. He know it's dangerous for him, but for some strange reason, he had and he stuck out there in Savannah, Georgia, and he's not leaving. Like I told you, the guy, the pandemic here, he can't really make no money touring, you know, and ain't nobody gonna buy his merchandise. No motherfuckers wearing no Quando Rondo shirts after what the fuck he did. Most he can do is make the streaming money, and people really don't give a fuck about them songs, so that's why he dissing King Von in those songs to get those streams up. Because he's going to need that money for security for the rest of his motherfucking rap career. And I'm going to tell you something about Quando Rondo. I be seeing this video saying, bro, get up with me. I ain't scared to book a show. I book a show anywhere. I ain't scared to leave Savannah. I'll go book a show. What do you mean you're not scared to leave Savannah? Bro, don't you realize your homie killed King Von, bro? You talking about not leave Savannah? Bro, King Von had a bag, bro. You don't think he left that bag to somebody, bro? He was signing to Lil Durk. Lil Durk got a bag. He grew up with, like, Chief Keef. He got a bag. You don't really think it's niggas living in Savannah, Georgia right now looking for you, bro? You don't really think it's apartments and cribs that's leased out to Chirac niggas right now that's looking for your ass, bro? Do Quando Rondo really believe he's safe in Savannah, Georgia? I bet my bottom dollar that it's niggas right now that you call top drillers probably got apartments in Savannah, Georgia right now. And the whole thing is to be out there searching for you, buddy. And soon they catch you. Blah, 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 they don't get the fuck on from up out of there, bro. That's a, scenario, that's a scenario that could happen, bro. You get what I'm saying? You don't think the promoters at these shows, when they finally book you, you don't think Dirk and them got a relationship with these promoters, bro? You think these promoters cool what happened to Dirk, bro? You think them promoters cool what happened to King Von, bro? They might get the call say, hey, bro, he performing tomorrow. I think Quando Rondo needs to watch his back forever, bro. That's just my opinion. I don't think this the end of this. If it's not Quando Rondo, because most of the time shit don't never happen to the rappers, bro. It never, ever happens to the rappers. It happens to their entourage. I wouldn't be surprised if Quando Rondo entourage and talk some losses. We just don't know about it right now. So that's what I'm saying. You know, that guy's in hiding for what he did. Uh, I'm not saying he did anything wrong. He got his ass cracked up. But he had his homies on go. And I'm not saying that's wrong to do. I'm just saying. I don't know if he's moving smart enough because the shit I be hearing him say, bro, I'm out here in Georgia. I ain't worried about no man. Bro, you think that make you safe? Your enemies are rich, bro. I'm not sure if Quando Rondo realized that, bro. These ain't them enemies out there in motherfuckers of Atlanta, Georgia, bro, who riding around the streets looking for you, bro. Your enemies got M's, bro. They got them tickets, bro. They can fly anywhere in the world, bro. They can pay the fee for your head, bro. I'm telling you, this shit seem like it's going to get dangerous. It smell like a pocket and biggie situation. I'm going to keep you guys updated on this, but you got to hit the subscribe button. It's the homie truth. Blech, blech, blech.